Hey guys! So, first of all, I'm going to begin off drawing to the eyes on the skin. This is like the thing I think through every single time. Like, which one do I want to do? Well, I'll check my hair back first and then we can decide. So, I do skin first just because you get done over with and it's nothing special. So, I'm going to go in with a few things today. I'm going to take my 100% pure mattifying primer, which is full of antioxidants and vitamins. I've talked about this before on my channel, so you guys can check out the video if you would like. I'll make sure to leave a link in the cards above here for you guys to check out like the um, first impressions of these products. I did the foundation and the primer, and I'm literally just applying it to the center of my face and just kind of buffing it outwards with my fingers and because I'm going to be doing a really dewy look I want to have quite like dewy skin like because I'm oily I'm still going to keep it matte but I do want to have like a, contr a controlled glow so I'm going in with my usual master strobing liquid and placing this on the high points of my face not all over this time because I want to still be a little bit matte for this look so I've liked buffing in the product with my finger and I slightly like bring it onto like the cheeks a little bit so it like glows like up like that on the high points and I also bring it up around my forehead area like the temples so it like kind of curls in that C shape it hits all the high points and I go along the top of my brow because we usually get a glow right above there and then I just buff it up with my finger to the top of my forehead like so and there you have your like amazing glow <laughs> I like to go in with my finger just because it doesn't use up so much of the product with like a beauty sponge it just soaks it all up and you guys know me I always like to put some on my body as well now I feel like the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz. I'm going to go in with my foundation. And the foundation I'm going in today with is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. So I've been running out of ideas to do for you guys. Like I know I've got a couple in mind that you've told me about. But I mean like do you guys have any other things that you'd like to see? Like Christmas looks you'd like for me to do? Or other glamorous looks? More natural looks? Like... Let me know in the comment section below because I'm running low on some inspo at the moment. Like, I don't know, I'm just lacking in some inspiration. So it would <laughs> it would really help if you guys would just, like, send me some things either on Twitter or in the comment section or DM me on Instagram. All my, like, social medias are, like, linked in the description bar. Um, but I would really appreciate a little bit of inspo, guys. Thank you. Next, taking my Elego Pro Conceal in Creamy Beige, I'm going to apply this to the center of my face as well as um, highlighting the under eyes and concealing my under eye bags as well. So I'm using it to highlight and conceal. And I'm actually going to take a little concealer brush from Zoeva. It's the 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. I'm just going to buff out the concealer with this. I'm literally just kind of like patting it into the skin, not really swiping. <laughs> I look like a reindeer with my little light nose. With the nose, I just want to kind of keep it on the center of it, so I'm just actually patting on the concealer to buff it in a little bit. And bringing it up the bridge. And then taking some Fit Me Press Powder and just going to press this into my under eyes and anywhere else that I tend to get oily. Like sometimes I'll use like a beauty sponge to do this, sometimes I'll use a pu like a powder puff thing from the actual packaging. Like I like to mix it up a bit guys, I like to keep it, keep you on your toes. <laughs> and also grabbing my Urban Decay setting spray. I'm just going to spritz my face to get rid of the excess powder on it. The usual biz. And to fill in my brows I'm just going to take my brow pencil from LA Girl in the shade Brunette. And I've just been loving the more like... I say quotation marks like natural brow look with like a brow pencil rather than it being more harsh. I'm just doing little light feathered strokes. Okay guys, get this for like a small world kind of story. 
So like, a couple years ago, my sister and I went on a Europe slash like UK tour. So we went on a, like two tours and we went on the UK one at the end of 2015 and the Europe one during 2000 and like the beginning of 2016. Right, so one of my friends, a couple of my friends, like they were a couple, like they're like married, they've gone on this American tour and my friend from the Europe tour is on the same tour with them, right? And they were like, oh my god, how do you know, like, how do you know us? Like, how do you know Megan and Vanessa? And they're like, oh, we went on tour with them back in, you know, 2015, 2016. Like, I just can't believe how small a world is that. Like, the exact same tour in the same country, like, the same time of year. Like, what a small world. I thought it was such a funny coincidence, like a quinky dink. <gasps> like, that that would actually happen. Like, oh, it was so funny. So I like to keep the tail of my brow, like, a bit, bit darker, guys. And the head of my brow, I always like to just keep it light and feathered. Because I like to mimic a more natural brow. I don't like the um, sharpie-looking brow. But, I mean, like, if that's your thing, then you do it, dude do you do it boo <laughs> i can't speak today all right now that i've completed my brows like i swear it took me like 10 years but i finally did them we're going to move on i don't want to do brow gel yeah i'll just do brow gel now not later this is the brow sculpting gel from rimmel in the shade deep brown i believe dark brown i always get those confused so to prime my eyelids i'm going to take my soft ochre paint pot from mac and just apply that to my lids to prime them, get rid of any veins, redness, uneven, you know, unevenness to them. And then I'm just going to take like a bone white eyeshadow and just dust that over my lids to set that like cream in place with my 325 brush. Next, taking a light orange shade, um, I'm going to place this through my crease with a very fluffy brush. I'm using the 228 from Zoeva. I want this to be quite a soft tone, like it's it's there but it's not obvious. I want it to be a very subtle bit of orange, that's why I'm using a very fluffy brush. So that it applies it really softly. And then I bring it all the way from inner to outer corner. But not really on the lid, just in the crease. Next on a soft crease brush, I'm going to take this warm like brick brown shade. It's got like a ready orange undertone to it and I'm going to apply, apply this just below the orange helping it to like fade into one another. So you're going to have to do a bit of blending because it is quite a darker shade compared to the light orange. So just take it slowly through the crease a little bit at a time working that product in and I go back in with that fluffy brush and some of that light orange shade and just buff out the edges. And repeat. I like to have my eyes open just for this last little bit as I blend it up into the orange. Just so I can see how it's going to sit on my eye when it's open. Like, will I be able to see it? Is it covered up? Kind of thing. And then on a pencil brush, I'm going to take these two deep brown shades and place them just below that brick brown shade in the crease. An outer corner. And taking a petite crease brush and some of that bricky brown shade. I'm just softening the softening, softening the edges. And finally that light orange shade. Then grabbing that deepest brown shade, I'm going to pack it all over the lid with a chisel shader brush from Morphe. And because we did all that blending before with the pencil brush, the petite brush, and all those eyeshadows. It's easy to blend this brown into the brown, like the deeper browns in the crease because we already did it. So I just pack it on and meet it to where we've blended that through the crease. And then I went in actually with some of that deep orange shade and that light orange shade on that soft shader brush and just put that on the very outer edges for a bit more of a pop of orange. Just a very, very minute amount. I'm now going to draw a winged liner on my eyes just with my Haley Baldwin eyeliner and then filling in with my Milani infinite liquid eyeliner it's in the black shade 
So I went ahead and applied some lashes and mascara and the lashes I went in with today are the Iconic Lashes from House of Lashes. So next I'm going to just finish off the eyes really quickly because there's not a lot left to it. So I'm going to place a black eye coal in my waterline and tightline. So I'm going in with my Makeup Geek Obsidian Black Eye Coal. I'm also taking it underneath the lash line. Next I'm going to take a black eyeshadow on a smudger brush. I'm just going to wiggle this along the black that we placed um, with the eye coal. Taking this like light brown tone, I'm just going to smudge out that black. It's a brown that's a couple shades deeper than my skin tone, so it's a good transition colour. I'm just going to buff out that black. But I don't want to bring it down too far, I'm trying to keep it close to the lash line. Then I'm going to mix some of that deep orange and that light orange that we used before in the crease. I'm going to wiggle that against the black to bring some of that orange back. I want mainly some of that light orange and just a smidgen of that deeper one. Then it's time for some bottom lash mascara. So for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take Shimmer Shimmer and um, Ice Queen, I think this one is. Yeah, Ice Queen. I'm going to place this on my inner corners for a real big pop of like a highlight there. Because everything else is so matte, I want to bring some highlight to the look, like a really bright inner corner. And I'll just place a bit of those two eyeshadows on the high point of my brow as well. Just a little bit. And I'm actually going to take some of these two highlights that we use on the inner corner and actually highlight my face with it because I want a really intense highlight. Starting from about the high point of the cheek and going up the side of the forehead. Along the top of the brow and fade it up. And I'm adding some of the highlight, like just basically to all the high points of my face. So I did my cheekbones and above the brow. And I want like a poppin' nose glow. So I'm being a bit more precise. Like usually I just whack it on like wham bam, turkey and ham we have a highlight. But today, because it's such a glamorous look, I want to be a bit more precise. Especially with the nose, because I want it to be a bit more slimmed. Of course, hit that cupid's bow. Make it pop. So, to bronze, I'm going in with my Michelin bronzer in the shade Barbados Babe. Just love bronzing with like highlight already on my face because I can just see the glow of the bronze. It's, it's the little things in life, guys. It's the little things. <laughs> just gonna bronze my nose a bit under the chin and along the jawline then grabbing this contour powder from makeup geek in the shade breakup i'm going to chisel out the cheekbones finally for blush i don't really want anything too like overpowering especially because the eyes are the focus of this look so i'm going in with my infatuation blush from makeup geek it's a nice muted rose tone so to finish off the skin, I'm going in with my Urban Decay setting spray and just spritzing that all over my face. Okay, finally for the lips, we're going in with like a, I want like a, do I want like a muted rosy tone as well for the lips? Like I want something nude, I do know that. So I'm taking my Zoeva liquid lipstick in the shade Clear Message and applying that to my lips. So over top, I'm going to take my Bonjourous Paris 3D Effect um, lip gloss and apply that over top so I want a bit of a glossy lip finish rather than a matte just because the eyes are so intense I'm just going for that glossy it just softens it a little bit makes it more I don't know feminine wearable I don't know and this is the finished makeup look guys so thank you guys for watching my video I hope you enjoyed it got something out of it it's nice and dramatic my favorite kinds of looks if you do, like I said, have any requests that you want me to do, any ideas, then feel free to leave them down below. I would much, like, appreciate it very, very much. I hope you have an amazing day and an amazing Christmas, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.